Hey guys, welcome back. We're still testing on the Monoport K40 and today we're gonna try some stainless steel. All right, we are going to test just on dollar store stainless steel knives. So it's the same thing we did before. So we will be able to at the end compare and see if it's any darker than the diode laser. We are going to attempt some mustard. I hear it works. Hasn't worked for us, but we'll try again. Uh, some cold galvanizing compound. This works on glass pretty well, but uh, didn't work on the knives with the diode. Maybe the CO2 will work. And then of course, dry molly lube. This one's gonna work. Just don't know how much better it's gonna look from a CO2 compared to the diode. So this will be just the end comparison with the original one from last time. I just kinda wanna see the difference between the two lasers. All right, so what we're gonna do speed wise is a hundred millimeters a minute and we're gonna do 50% power. I don't know what we need, so I'm gonna crank it up and uh, see what results we get from that. All right, sorry about that one. Uh, it was the cold galvanizing compound, but the LED strip fell off. It's just double-sided tape, so it falls off a lot. Uh, definitely want to put a better light system in here when we start upgrading. I'd like it to wrap maybe all the way around or something. I don't know, but I want it much brighter. Um, so we'll get to that later. But here's the cold galvanizing compound. Looks super dark. The spray is pretty white, so we'll see what it looks like when we clean it off. All right, this one, the dry molly lube. It actually looks lighter right now because the rest of the spray's on there. Let's see what it looks like when we clean it up. All right, last one going in, the mustard. Honestly, I don't think it's gonna do anything, but we're gonna try it anyway. Uh, maybe it's the wrong mustard. I don't know, but let's see what it does. All right, mustard done. That actually, yeah, you can already see it didn't do much, but we'll clean it up and see anyway. It stinks. All right, we're gonna use some denatured alcohol and some paper towels to clean these off. There is a little hint of a shadow maybe, but really nothing. Yep, so mustard. So mustard, yet again, did not work for us. With galvanizing compound. All right, this time we're gonna clean the cold galvanizing compound one.
All right, and last, uh, the dry molly lube. All right, guys, so from top to bottom, we have mustard, did nothing. Cold galvanizing compound, uh, it's actually really dark, looks great. And then dry molly lube, also pretty dark and looks really good. So really either one of these, I would say, are pretty awesome. This one didn't work at all with the diode and dry molly lube did work the same as before. Um, let me grab the di dry molly lube with the diode and show you what they looked like uh, next to each other. All right, so top one is the Orther 20 watt and the bottom one is a K40. Uh, it's very similar actually um, between both of those. All right, so both of these are the cold galvanizing compound. We didn't even bother cleaning all of this one off because it just scraping off immediately on the lettering, but this is through the K40 and it looks incredible. And I do believe that cold galvanizing compound is a little bit cheaper than the dry molly lube. So it does look really good for a little bit less. And um, really either one that you have, it would work great. All right guys, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.